Uh, hello there. So um, this is the first time I'm going to try to add some uh, narrative to my videos. Um, last night I saw a uh, short tutorial on how to make tubing by uh, CG Cookie, and I thought it was kind of messy. You, uh, they showed like four ways how not to do it. Um, I am going to share with you a, a trick that I have learned from. Le Petit Wazoo, uh, it's called Cedric, he's the inventor of uh, Speedflow, you can follow him on Twitter. Um, and I'm going to show you how uh, how uh, you can make some really nice tubing. So let's follow along, uh, shall we? Uh, you see me now, uh, I'm going to delete the default cube, I'm just going to add a plane. I'm going to select one vertice. I'm going to press Ctrl I so all the other vertices are selected and I'm just going to delete it. Now to get my uh, give myself some space I'm going to move it the uh, object up a little bit and then I'm going to start extruding the single vertice to have a um, interesting uh, shape. This will be uh, this will be converted to a curve uh, so that I can uh, uh, this is going to be the path of the piping that we're going to make and I find this really easy to work this is just one single vertice extrude and move it along move it along the x-axis or the y-axis or the z-axis this is really really easy straightforward nothing fancy nothing uh, difficult with handles and stuff you just extrude and move it to where you want it and um, this is just uh, placing it you can uh, constrain it to a single axis and um, just uh, uh, place the curve place the place it where you like um, so uh, I'm almost done here with uh, the uh, the flow of the curve uh, and I'm gonna extrude it down and I extrude it once once more and along the x-axis okay so now that I have that I'm gonna check double check to see if I don't have any double vertices so W remove double vertices and now I'm gonna do control I'm gonna go control shift B control shift B and there you have it so now you can bevel only the uh, the corners um, and this is really important this is going to be the flow of the uh, of the curve the path uh, of your tubing so make sure you have some really cool uh, roundings going on now convert this to a curve and we're going to go ahead and uh, now make the bevel object uh, the bevel object needs to be another curve so I'm just gonna add a circle uh, the circle I'm gonna set to uh, 2D um, because that makes it more easier for me to uh, follow along. It doesn't matter if it's 3D or 2D, uh, the results are the same. So now I'm just going, going to position this a little bit more. Now you notice you have the, uh, uh, the origin of this object. Uh, now at the 3D cursor and this is the origin is going to follow the curve that we just modeled the path so uh, I am going to position some um, profiles the the piping uh, diameters uh, that is going that is that are going to follow the path I'm going to make it uh, small uh, and interesting uh, so that I can have a good uh, uh, nice some nice tubing now select the uh, uh, the path and then go to curve options uh, and then uh, search for the uh, and search for the uh, 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 and geometry of the bevel object and add the bezier circle uh, we can now uh, scale them a little bit more because I can see that we have some uh, in the very tight corners. Uh, you can see that uh, the curves uh, are not uh, flowing that uh, that well. 
um, they're a bit uh, clunky and a bit uh, the bend is too tight as you can see it's a really tight bend so I'm going to look here there you see it uh, on the right hand side where my cursor is at uh, where the pointer is at you can see that there is a uh, a really tight uh, turn so I don't like that um, and I'm going to scale down my uh, uh, curves a little bit more and this will give me a smoother result um, for the, uh, the the pipes that are following uh, this, uh, uh, this this curve uh, okay so now that we have that uh, this is really nice these are just some circles uh, I'm going to show you some uh, a trick to have um, some really nice uh, square um, curves also and to do that I am just going to use a plane delete the top vertices I am going to make uh, uh, just a uh, a contour of edges there's all there are different ways to do this I just use this and shift duplicate it uh, one more time I move that to the side shift duplicate it one more time to the other side so now I can do the uh, same trick control shift B um, and with control shift B I can add some roundness I can bevel the corners this is really nice and then I am going to do the same thing I'm just gonna make an octagonal uh, diameter uh, control shift B and then uh, just use uh, as uh, as few possible okay like that a uh, few possible uh, increments on the bevel so now this is a mesh I'm going to need to convert this to a curve if I want to join them with the others so now I am going to uh, uh, I'm just going to select those and object to convert to curve and I'm going to show uh, join them with control J and now there are also curves and there you have it uh, they are autom automatically added to the uh, uh, to the to the path and as you can see they follow the path just as well as the other curves doing it and now you have some really nice uh, um, uh, square uh, tubing instead of square instead of round and there's they're uh, they're nicely beveled um, and I think I am just going to make one more one more uh, big one um, I'm just gonna uh, take the middle one uh, I shift duplicate it and grab it and I'm going to grab it a little bit more put it there and I'm gonna scale it uh, along the X that's it and if I look now I have this wide nice uh, piping um, that is just going to follow along like the rest of the other uh, of the other tubes and this is a really cool technique to have some nice flowing tubes uh, in your scene uh, some really cool geometry um, very easy to make um, very flexible and very tidy and not so uh, difficult and not so uh, hard to make um, I'm going to uh, in the viewport display gonna turn on wire and I just did that to the curves I needed to select this one yes of course this one and then put on the wire so that you can see it a little bit better but now you can see the how nice the f the topology is uh, with this technique and uh, you don't have any extra vertices uh, you don't have any extra geometry you just have the geometry that you need in the turns and uh, this is a uh, one way of working with um, uh, curves uh, you don't get those uh, unnecessary subdivisions that you get with uh, the subdivisions modifier. This is really easy to work with. Um, so I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this tutorial. And if you want to hear me speak some more in my other tutorials, 
let me know hit the subscribe hit the like button and thank you for watching